Today's sentencing marks the culmination of a complex three-year investigation by the MHRA to protect public health. Our investigation team have worked tirelessly to bring David Noakes to justice, who put public health at risk through the unlicensed sale of GC Math products. GC Math is a product made from human blood sold by a Guernsey-based company called Immunobiotech, which is owned by David Noakes. GC Math has been claimed as a miracle cure for anything from cancer to HIV to severe acne. However, it has not been subjected to any clinical trials and there is no scientific basis for these claims. In January 2015, the Guernsey authorities raised concerns about this product with the MHRA and we inspected the company's production site in Cambridgeshire. We seized around 10,000 vials of the product to an approximate value of £5.5 .5 million. Our inspection determined that unlicensed manufacturing was taking place. The site did not meet the good manufacturing practice standards and the material used to produce the medicine was not suitable for human use. Following our inspection, we alerted people to the risks of buying and using GCMAF. Following further investigation, David Noakes was listed as being wanted by the MHRA. Noakes had relocated his business to France, but in February 2017, following a tip-off, he was arrested by Dorset Police, having flown into Bournemouth Airport in his own private aircraft from Cherbourg in France. He was interviewed under caution and subsequently charged with a number of offences. Earlier this year, David Noakes pleaded guilty to a number of charges relating to the manufacture, sale and supply of an unlicensed medicine, as well as money laundering. The risk posed to public health in this case was potentially huge as we were dealing with an unlicensed medicine made in an unlicensed facility. These products have not been tested for quality, safety or effectiveness and it is strongly advised that people seek advice from a medical professional before using any related products. Our advice is if you are buying medicines online, make sure you buy from a site that is properly regulated. We advise anyone needing medical treatment to seek professional medical advice and not to buy medicines from unauthorised sources. Patient safety is our highest priority and we will continue to track down and prosecute criminals who exploit public health for their own gain.